Hello, welcome back to another lesson in Vedic Astrology. I have already done by 100th video but uh, I spoke about the Nakshatra Barani and uh, for some reason I had to delete it and uh, that's the power of Barani Nakshatra, the star that is ruled by the god of death Yama. So this time my 100th video is going to be on a very auspicious star, Pushyami. Whenever the day is ruled by Pushyami or when a movement is ruled by the star Pushyami, it is very auspicious for beginning a new venture, new activities or to start anything. It is very good and it is uh, supposed to be the best of all the 27 stars when it comes to selecting a muhurta at a good time for auspicious activities. The only exception is that Pushyami, the star ruled by Saturn, is unfavorable for marriage related activities. Uh, be it uh, engagement or the marriage ceremony itself. So marriage should never be conducted during Pushyami Nakshatra but unfortunately the uh, Panchangs declare it as a very good date for ch in general and people mistake it to be a good day even for marriage. So in Deep Astro Diary I have been always informing people that you can do anything in Pushyami Nakshatra but do not conduct marriage ceremonies. You may wonder why. The reason is whatever you do in Pushyami tends to get repeated. So marriage is one thing that we wish doesn't repeat. It should be the first and the last and the most successful event, the most successful activity of our life. So my advice is never choose a day that is ruled by Pushyami for conducting a marriage related ceremony. 